So as some of you might know, I restored a Kawasaki KZ750 from uh, 1980 and I've been on the lookout for a crash helmet that might be kind of in keeping with uh, the bike. And so looking around, I found this crash helmet from the Stealth brand, which I'd never heard of. And uh, I just thought I'd do a little uh, review of it now. So inside the box, things are packaged up pretty well and the helmet comes in its own helmet bag which has got the Stealth logo on it. That's a good start. And it came supplied um, with a little peak which is useful. And now, then here's the helmet itself. So the helmet is called the HD320. It's a fiberglass helmet and as you can see the graphic kind of pays tribute to that time when we all used to put stickers all over our helmets. I think it looks pretty cool. So here's the other side of the helmet in the same kind of style. And the detail on the back. One thing I did notice is uh, that the weight quoted here is uh, 800 grams plus or minus 50. And of course me being me, I weighed it and it was actually 885. But with the peak on it, it's uh, 925. I think the quality of the graphics is really nice though. So just a thought or two about the quality of the helmet. It's got one of these uh, micrometric uh, buckles here, I don't know if you can see that. Some people like them, some people don't. But that's the fastening. And also I think that the strap is a bit overly long. And uh, I think if you had a slender face or a very slender uh, neck, it might be hard to tighten it down quite enough. I mean, I'm, I've not got a skinny face, but I've had to shorten this down as far as it will go. Um, and even then, it's only just about right. Now, the lining inside looks OK, I think. It all pops out with little poppers, so you can sponge it down or wash it. Um, the only thing I would say that I've noticed is that the recesses for your ears feel a bit uh, small and my big fat ears don't seem to fit very well and I have to stick my hand down the side of the helmet to flatten my ear down. I mean it, it works okay but just could be a little irritating for some people. Uh, otherwise I think it's pretty impressive. One, uh, one or two of the other things uh, I've noticed about the stealth helmets is they do do some really interesting uh, and really well priced ones. I'll try and put a couple of pictures in now. So as you can see the helmet does meet the ECER 22.05 regulation which is a European standard for safety. Um, so that's good. So stealth helmets don't seem to have much of an online presence. In fact the um, website here doesn't seem to exist. Um, but when I did a little bit of research, it turns out that these stealth helmets are made by the same people that make Ducchini helmets. So Ducchini uh, are a helmet that is made to sound like it's an Italian helmet, but in fact it is a Chinese helmet. And I'm guessing this is a Chinese helmet too, although I can't find it anywhere in the labeling or anything um, something about the country manufacture, but I'm guessing it's a Chinese helmet. So when it comes to the price of this helmet, uh, I saw it online anything from £40 to £75. So um, me not being a mug, I paid £40 for it. And it arrived uh, two days after I ordered it from an online auction site. And. Uh, there we are. Anyway, I hope this little review has helped. The uh, Stealth HD320 fiberglass open face helmet with the old school graphic.